How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. We're going to continue working on our Alpha Action Battle System tutorials um, using Phoenix Kage Disu's plugin. So, in the last uh, episode of this uh, series, we got our project running is so it would load now and we could walk around on the map, but we couldn't do much else. We don't have any, we made a weapon, but we didn't have anything to fight. So, in this episode, I'm going to go over the quick changes I made to the project and then I'm going to show you how to make an enemy. So I haven't done too much to the project really. All I've done is added a new class called Ronin, uh, gave it um, the ability to use the swords and basic general stuff, um, created it, or I changed the special type to a tech type. It's all flavor stuff. Um, I've added one plugin that lets me skip the title screen. So the DK skip title screen plugin. Um, that's just for testing purposes. Final version might even just turn that uh, off. But this is going to let us skip the title screen, jump straight to the map that we're working on, because uh, we're probably going to have to uh, crash a few times to fix a few bugs. So the first thing we're going to do to create an enemy is go to our enemies tab, and we're going to clear whatever we have in here, if this is a new project, and we're going to insert some stats for our enemy. So just like we talked about in the last episode, how the weapons use weapons attack speed as how long it takes for them to swing, enemies use the same attack speed counter if they're given that attack. So you're going to have to give the, the, the enemies an attack speed. So if I want the enemy to be able to attack me every two seconds, I can set the attack speed to 120, and then every uh, second, 60 frames goes by. So every two seconds, the ooze is going to swing at me, and with uh, and use the attack skill. Um, so basically, all of the enemies will have their their all of these parameters will go into the event when you call it with a note tag. But um, there, all of the enemies are also given like uh, default parameters that are um, changed with note tags. But if we don't give them these note tags, then they'll be, um, they'll use default values. So you don't have to use any note tags really. But um, in this episode, I'm gonna go over a few note tags that you can use. I'll put them in the screen somewhere. So this first one we're gonna be using, uh, all of them are in brackets, are actually the greater than less than signs here. And it says view radius, and then the number. So what view radius does is it lets the enemy start, uh, it basically lets the enemy see the player from a number of tiles. So within five tiles, this enemy is going to like aggro. And so if I get within five tiles of this uh, ooze, uh, then it's going to aggro me and start coming after me. So then we have return radius, and this is set to 10. So basically, wherever you put the event on the map, um, if it ever gets more than 10 tiles away from its point, it's going to teleport back to its home point. And you can change that number right here. Then we have another note tag that's called revive time. And it is, I believe it's cap sensitive. So it's using like the camel case thing. All it starts with lowercase and then the first letter of every word after that is going to be uppercase. So this last one, revival time, uh, the number goes in seconds. So... 15 seconds after it's been killed, it will revive. You can remove these note tags or change the numbers in these uh, note tags, and we'll be adding more note tags as we continue throughout this series. But um, let's take a look at the event. So just by setting up a, an event doesn't mean that this uh, that you're going to be able to fight. In order to enter the ABS menu, um, like have our heads up display active, we have to go to the map that, the, that we're going to be on and specify in the note tags that this is an action battle system map. Because maybe you don't want the players to be able to kill stuff in town, so you wouldn't put this note tag in town. So we're, we just right click, oops, sorry. We just go right click here, go to edit on any map, and then put the ABS note tag in the note tags here, and that'll toggle it as a map you can fight on. Uh, then you go to uh, create a new event, um, call it whatever you want, um, but I usually would call it the name of the enemy that we're going to be fighting. So in order for this event to actually register as an enemy, we have to put something in its note tag. So we're going to put in uh, greater than less than signs ABS colon and then a number. 
and that number is going to be the number of the enemy you want to uh, it you want it to inherit its parameters from. So we can see that this ooze is number one. So when I put ABS one in that event, that event is going to take on all of these parameters that we've specified. Now, in order to make the enemy uh, die, we have to use a self switch B. So we create a new event page and we can show the image if we want to use a plugin command uh, ABS loot so that we have to go up to the enemy and then press the action button to loot the enemy. Uh, alternatively, you can leave this self switch B and have no image and then um, not have any ABS loot plugin command and instead just edit the ABS parameters so that it would auto loot. So if you don't want to draw death sprites for all your sprites, you might just want to go to auto loot, turn this to true, and then not use the plugin command and just have a blank sprite on the second one and then it'll just loot automatically. So we might even end up doing that later on in the project. Um, so we're calling enemy number one here. Um, we're on a map that's using ABS. We've got our self switch B with our death animation and our ABS loot plugin command. So um, everything looks like it should work. And the interesting thing about this plugin command is it'll let you loot the first time, but it won't let you just keep pressing action button and looting over and over until the enemy revives and dies again and then it'll let you get the loot. So there's a there's like a, a fail safe in, in, in there somewhere that basically stops that from happening. Uh, one thing before we get into the event, uh, you're going to have to do another copy paste thing. Now I came across this when I was working on this tutorial. Um, you have to go into your demo folder, the, the master project that, you've, that you downloaded, go into the IMG ABS folder and copy all of these PNG files. All right. Now copy them all and paste them into your games folder, IMG icons folder. So they'll be in the ABS folder for the demo, but you need to copy them to a different folder, uh, the, the IMG icons folder. So copy all these, paste these in here, and that's going to fix a crash that you'll encounter if you've gotten ahead of me in the tutorial. All right, let's take a look at it now. We're skipping the screen, the title screen with that plugin I put in. Uh, we're moving around. You can see the, that um, the enemy over there, it doesn't seem to be doing anything because we've got a range of five tiles. So if I'm not in that range, he's not going to see me or come after me. Also, you can notice that this, no, this A right here is detecting a sword type. So it's showing a sword because I've set up our hero to have the starting blade. So now if we press tab, we can target him from that far. And if we press A, we're going into attack mode. So now all we have to do is walk by him and we'll start swinging. But you can see he saw us before we got to him, right? He started to move before we even got there. So we've got a three second charge time and it's got a two second charge time. We could always change that. But um, so this tactic would be you want to run up and hit it and run away from it because uh, he'll be able to, if you stand toe to toe, oh, he revived. If you stand toe to toe, then he's going to get more swings than you. So if you want to like take advantage of uh, your, his faster cooldown, you can hit him for you know, hit him and then run away. He, he would be fully charged before you to run into him. Um, and you can see that when we killed him, we're awarded that experience. Now we can also go over to it and press uh, an action button to loot it. So the experience was, lo uh, was automatic. Uh, another thing to note is if you're not going to do the auto loot thing, you may want to um, not have the revive too fast because the player may not have enough time to even loot the enemy. So we come across him. You see how he's hitting us, but we're not hitting him, even though we got him targeted, because we have to press A or click on hit on this. Now that'll go into attack mode, and when our bar fills up, we'll be swinging at him. All we have to do is be uh, any any tile around him when our our gauge is filled. You see, we got our experience. We go up to it, press a uh, action button, and we loot our coins. So our action battle system uh, tutorial project's already starting to look really good. Hopefully your project is in the same spot. Um, 
If you have any questions, special requests uh, regarding this plugin, put them in the comments below. If you want to see more tutorials for the Alpha ABS, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know you want to see some more tutorials. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's always appreciated. You can always check out driftwoodgaming.com if you want to get involved with uh, the community a little bit more. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next tutorial.